Welcome back to Two Sun Sailing. Today, we're finally going to finish repairing the deck hull joint on Max's 14 foot Phantom sailboat. If you've been watching our previous episodes, you'll know that the previous owner, or one of the previous owners, tried to fix this joint with basically some silicon caulk or something similar to that. And that repair really, really failed. Um, they didn't do a great job applying it, so there wasn't good adhesion between the two. It didn't seal very well. And, or even worse, it's been an absolute bear to clean out. So we've spent the past few weeks, if not months, um, scraping and sanding this joint down uh, with a variety of tools. I took a piece of wood and cut a thin little finger with a slot in it, and I can use that with it to pinch either a washer like this, and that works really well to get down into this section down here for that interior radius, or just a straight razor blade, and that worked really well to get this upper, upper part. I also used a couple dental picks, and these, these are, are really handy when there's caulk in a small recess or in a little divot, you can get in there and scrape it out. The hardest part about the caulk is that it adheres, for, for the fact that it didn't hold the, two, hold the two pieces together very well, it adheres to itself really, really well. So getting it all off is it, so gummy, it's really hard. So at this point, the, the boat is all set up. We just have to go around it one more time to clean off this joint. It's been sanded. We're gonna go, go with some solvent just to clean it off. My preference for that would be de-waxer and surface prep. The only problem with this, and I've, I've used this on, the, on my boat before I did the bottom paint. The only problem with this is that the primary ingredient in this is xylene, and that's not something you wanna be using in your house. Um, it, it smells bad, you don't wanna breathe it, it's just bad stuff. So for a dining room project, this, this is not recommended. I'm gonna be using denatured alcohol instead. Um, you wanna be a little bit careful with this as well. It is really flammable. This is actually a, a, marine, a marine stove fuel. So we're gonna open a window and put a fan on, but compared to the xylene and that other stuff, this is a much less noxious. So this will be good to clean the boat with. All right, so now comes the scary part. The boat is all ready to go. Um, I've got, if, if you read online of other people who have done this, they, they talk about waxing the outside edge where you don't want anything to stick. This particular boat has some damage around the edge and I'm gonna be going back later and filling that. So I really don't wanna get any more wax on there because that, that later repair might fail. So I've gone, I've gone around the whole boat and I've applied some masking tape just up to the edge that way, if a little epoxy drips over, it'll be a lot easier to clean up. We've also inserted a, a thin piece of wood that's also wrapped in masking tape all the way around the edge. And that just mean, that just brings us that surface up above the lip so, you, so we can clamp to it. Because once we get the epoxy on all the way around, we're going to put clamps all the way around the boat. And that'll make sure we get really nice clamping pressure. Today, we're going to be using this Thixo from Total Boat. It fits into a standard caulk gun and you can apply it basically just like any other caulk or adhesive that you would with a caulk gun. Um, it comes with mixing tips. They're really great. The only thing that you want to remember when you use these mixing tips is to discard the first four or five inches of epoxy that you squeeze out because that doesn't have the right mix ratio and it will absolutely not cure. So purge that and then you're good to go. The primer, primary advantage of Thixo, which is just a thickened epoxy, over like a West system with some additives in it is that it's got a, a 35 to 50 minute work life, which for, pro which for a project like this is going to be really important because it's going to take me a while to go around the boat and get it all applied. Uh, it's also really, really easy to apply. You just squeeze the trigger. Uh, I'm not back mixing epoxy and add adding additives and, and thickening it to get it just right. Um, but yeah, 30, 30 to 50 minute work life as opposed to like 24, which is what you get with something like that. Uh, I've cut a couple of these tips off. You can cut the tip off to get it wider or smaller. I've cut a couple of them off. We're gonna put, I'm gonna put the first bead just along the bottom. And that way, when we squeeze these together, 
we'll get good adhesion there. And then I'm gonna put a second smaller bead around this outer edge just to try and make sure that these two edges stick together really well. I'd like to err on the side of having too much as opposed to too little, and if there's a lot of squeeze out, then I'll, I'll deal with cleaning that up. But the last repair definitely was starved for material, so I'm gonna try and add a little bit more this time and make sure there's enough. So it's gonna be a little bit of a race. Um, gotta get around, gotta get all the way around the boat and get everything clamped together. I'd like to do it in half an hour, but we'll probably be happy if I can do it in uh, 40 or 50 minutes. It says it's about a 50 minute work life, work life in 72 degrees, which is about what it is here. So yeah, just gotta pull the trigger and get to it. Okay, so the next thing I need to do, everything's pretty much glued up, but there's, there's these parts here that didn't get glue because that's because of the uh, notches holding the boat, holding the boat together apart. I don't know. So I just need to, wherever those were, I'm going to have to go in and add a little bit more as I take them out and then start clamping the boat together. All right, now that there's glue everywhere, I can go around and start very carefully lining everything up and clamping it. And hopefully, I'll get lots of squeeze out when I do that. I really hope he doesn't ruin this boat or else... And me both. This is squeeze out, which is excellent because that means that we have enough watch, we have enough epoxy in there that it's actually squeezing out between the joint. So this is a very good thing to see. Oh, it was I th a little messy to clean up. I thought it was bad. Nope, squeeze out's good. This is a little more than you might want, but squeeze out in general on a project like this is a good thing.
we don't mess this up. It's a very complicated. A lot of clamps. And this is my dad. I've been talking, you talk. <laughs> so right now we're just trying to clean up the squeeze out and make sure that everything is all filled in across the top. Just because we've got, as we clean it up, we had end up with a little bit of extra epoxy. So we're just using that to make sure that all those, the gap between the two pieces is all filled in all the way around, which will get us that much closer to everything being watertight when it comes time to actually put it back in the water. That's all. He's shy. Whew. All right. That's about an hour and a half later. We, can't uh, we got you. everything applied. We went around and scraped off the squeeze out. There was squeeze out all the way around the boat. So we're hope hoping we're going to get a good seal. Um, I did end up using four and a half tubes of thick sew. I was really happy with how it worked. The only thing I wish I'd had was a battery operated uh, cock gun because squeezing that thing over and over again got really tiring. My, my forearms are killing me. Uh, so we used nearly every clamp in the house. Actually, I realized that in the hurry we skipped a couple, but it'll be okay. Now we just gotta wait for everything to set up and sometime tomorrow, take all the clamps off and see how we did. Today we're finally gonna fix. Ah, we're finally going to what? What are we doing? Get the boat out of the house. I can't say that. <laughs> Just talk like you're talking to me. So this is called a boat. Ah, the boat. It's my little estimator. Pretty much. Be funny. <laughs> 